previously on the Youth Edition. Hello and welcome back to the Youth Edition Career Mode FIFA 18 with Forest Green still sitting in 10th position. It seems like I'm saying that a lot at the start of these episodes. Uh, 30 games played now, only 16 remain for the season. No cup games for us and we didn't bring anyone in in the transfer window. So it's up to the lads that we've got in the team to push us on. We need to push. I think we, we deserve to be in a promotional area. Um, we just need to uh, alleviate some of the goals that we're just giving up. I mean, we've been in a lot of positions to win. Uh, unfortunately, we've slipped up uh, a few muck-ups at the back, a few instances from Dior. We'll have to see. Hopefully, everyone pulls their finger out, binds themselves together for the final 16 games of this season, and we can make a real run home. Let's get into it and uh, see if we can pick up three points in our first game. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, on a very overcast day here at Pride Park Stadium. We're taking on Derby County. It's Forest Green on the road. And, uh, well, we're going to rely heavily on the first 11. I'm not going to make too many rotations unless we need freshness into this team. Uh, we'll give, you know, the young kids will get the opportunities here and there, but there won't be drastic changes. We won't be doing full lineup changes. We need this team molding. We need them finding form, and we need them pushing up the table. Derby County do sit below us, so a good opportunity here for us. Uh, here is their starting lineup. Uh, I think they sit in about 16th position, but we've got some big games coming up. And um, we're just going to have to find some touch in the final stages of this season. I want to push for at least a playoff position. I think we're due. I think we need to have a red hot crack. We're probably not ready for the Premier League, but if we go up, hopefully we get some coin. And uh, there'll be some decent regents floating around now uh, to really bring into this team and bolster them up for a good crack at the Premier League, I reckon. Uh, there's our starting lineup. The usual suspects out there. No changes to the starting 11. Let's get out here and see if we can take three points. We need some goals. We need a big victory. Thank Let's you. do it, boys. Feeds this one off for Charlie Allen. He gets a run on here from Wilson. We'll get our first attack forward here. Alfie Wilson just needs to slip this one forward. He does. He's got Higginye. Oh, he's offside. Come on, Higginye. Hold that run, mate. Wilson to Charlie Allen. Back to Alfie Wilson. Loves the one-two play here. Does Alfie Wilson. Oh, just wide. Oh, Dior, good save. They went for, for the next shot. They've got a corner. Derby County is starting to work their way into this match. They had the possession to start with, but come alive. And here is Dior. And, oh, Dior, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing with your life, Dior? Plays it off of Higginye. Actually, good trickery. And that might unleash Higginye to run down this week. Oh, he's got one heavy touch. Works his way inside, looks for Dylan Allen, picked off. He might get another touch here. Off to Alfie Wilson, finds Marble Bunbury. Bunbury turns his man. Can he shoot? Oh, why? Well, there is half time. Both teams have had a couple of opportunities, but nothing to write home about. It's nil all. Oh, mate, that is a well worked goal there by Derby County. He just could not hold on to him. They got on the momentum. They push forward, and in the 56th minute, it's Vydra. I think he decimated us last time. 1-0 to Derby County. And some ticky-tack football there. No one really marking close enough. Cosmosu needed to make that challenge. He misses out, and they slot it past Dior to make it 1-0. Fuck me, who are they? Barcelona? What is this passing? Ludicrous. I can't even get close enough. Hayes blocks it, and blocks it again. Bumbry. Alfie Wilson, out wide. Higginye, come on, get something cracking here, Higginye. Cuts back inside. Passes forward. Charlie Allen! Oh, save! It's a 
Vigne. On a push. Takes it down to the corner pocket. Down to the corner store. Can he get the cross in? Yes, he can. Lunda! Get 10! What a goal from Lund. And Higinye just works it from the corner pocket. Finds the eight ball. And it's Lund finishing the job. We're back in the game at 1 1. Well, that is a lovely cross in from Higinye. And Lund actually did the work there. Look at this. Higinye just cuts back, threads the eye of a needle. And Lund pushes his man out of the way. Kicks it home. Lovely finish. 1 1. Alfie Wilson feeds this one off. Charlie Allen to Dylan Allen. To Charlie Allen works the keeper. Oh, he's done well there, the keeper. Done for pace. Taylor needs to get back. Cosmoshu needs to mark up. Here's the shot. Dior. Great save. Time for three changes. Park, Toure and Fitzpatrick check in for Higinye, Cosmoshu and Lund. Just shore up the defensive bit here with Toure. Let's see if we can push through with some Park pace. Bumbry with a steal. Park slips this one off. Charlie Allen. Oh, checked and wrecked. No. Well, there is the whistle. We hold on, and it's a 1-1 draw. Shared points again for Forest Green. We need to be doing better. We need to attack more. Well, 10 shots to 8. An even contest there between both sides. And uh, Higinia gets himself a 9.3 with the assist and three key passes. 6.6 .6 for Cosmoshu, 7.1 for Dior, 6.5 for Thierry Touray, 7.3 for Bischoff, 7.6 for Hayes, 7.7 .7 for Eric Taylor, 7.7 .7 for Alfie Wilson, 8 for Bunbury, uh, 6.4 for Park, 6.6 .6 for Charlie Allen, 6 for Fitzy, 6.7 for Dylan Allen. A quiet day at the office, but Lund gets himself an 8.3 with a goal and uh, get voting up in the eye for your player of the match. Right, our first report is back here from France and uh, brought us back fuck all. Right, first report is back here from Mexico and a couple of lads to keep an eye on, but no worldies I want to be signing. And the first report back from Brazil brings us back a couple of decent players here in Eduardo Rossi, looks like a centre midfielder. And Renato Pereira looks like a left back at 72 to 94, 6 foot 6. Could be handy, but uh, I'm going to continue to scout him. His overall looks a little bit low at this stage, um, so we'll push on here. All right, here we go. Game two of the episode. Forest Green at the Echo Tricity Arena hosting Aston Villa. And we know what happened last time we played Aston Villa. They gave us an absolute pantsing. We want to turn that around here today. We need a win here. We desperately need three points because uh, we're four points behind Aston Villa now. And uh, we're closing in on towards the end stages of the season. If we want to be in with a sniff of a hope of uh, some promotional playoff spot, we're going to have to start picking up some Ws. And we need to do one here against Aston Villa today because they are four points above us. And we need to close that gap. Dylan Allen, still the leading goal scorer here in the championship by one goal. Uh, not really getting the service into delivery that he would like in the last few games, but he's picking up one or two here and there, and he's still leading that golden boot. He just needs to push on now and have another big domineering performance. Let's get into this game. I made a couple of changes. Bitsy starts on the left-hand side. Ture in at right back. Um, I think that is about it for the changes. I think I might have brought Bamber into the central defensive midfield role as well. So let's get into this game. Come on, Forrest Green. We need a W on the board. Yes, Hayes, great work. Virginia slips this one off. There is Alfie Wilson. He pushes on Alfie. Works his way through the midfield. He's got runners either side of him. Can he play this one out here for Charlie Allen? Charlie Allen! Oh, Dylan! Pounce, mate! Bamba finds Virginia. We're going to need some magic if we want a goal here by the looks of things. Slips it back here for Charlie Allen. Picked off. Plays this one forward. Dylan Allen lays it off. Charlie Allen lays it forward. Here's Virginia. Can he shoot? Save Galini. Charlie Allen lays it off. Bamba back to Charlie Allen. Inside for Dylan Allen. Tries to get the pass off for Fitzy. Who has absolutely muffed it. Oh, Taylor's been done. Bamba's going to have to do a job here. Who's there? Wilson does well. Fitzy clears it away. And here is Higinye. Can he take his man on? He needs to slip one down the line. He sort of does. He finds Dylan Allen. Dylan Allen plays it back through for Higinye. Higinye, can he get a cross in? He can for Charlie, but picked off. It's his way. Cuts back. Shoots. Galini. Wilson. Oh, crossbar, you idiot. Far out. What do we have to do for a goal today? Charlie Allen gets the block. 
interception. There's the cross for Higginia. Yes! Yes! Lovely cross from Charlie. That was determination to get the ball back. We've had an absolute multitude of shots. And finally, just before half time, it's Higginia hitting the back of the net with his sixth goal for the season. We're 1 0 up over Aston Villa. Just the turn of form we wanted. That was all down to the hard work of Charlie Allen. Seen Higginia racing through over the back. Unmarked, slips it in past the keeper, and it's one goal to nothing. There is the whistle at 1 0. Alfie Wilson plays this one off. Here's Higginia. Works his way through the deck. Higginia takes this one out wide. Still going. Feeds it back here for Fitz. There's the cross. Dylan Allen! Oh, what a save from Galini. Oh, Hayes, brilliant challenge. He might set us up here on a bit of a counter. Fitzy finds Charlie Allen. He needs to get in here. He does. Finds Dylan Allen. Feeds it across for Alfie Wilson. Oh, just pushed off it. It's a free kick here. Oh, into the wall. Come on, Charlie. I just want one free kick. It'll be fucking amazing when we score one. Off to Fitzy. He's got Charlie Allen driving through. Charlie. Oh, Charlie tangled up in his own legs. All right, Sonny So, Park and Zaleski check in for the final minutes. Can we hold on to this? Or can we push forward for a second? Well, Bamba misses the challenge. Don't let him through. Clear it. Yes. Zaleski plays it off, and here is Sunhiso. Sunhiso pushes on forward. Dylan Allen, run into the middle, mate. What are you doing? Feeds it through for Zaleski. Get in. Oh, my days. Dylan Allen is set to stay central, and he continues to run wide, and I'm not sure why. Come on, Park. Let's go, Park. Inside. Oh. Clear away. Well, we'll take three points with a 1 0 victory. And I felt there should have been a couple more there. Definitely. 17 shots to zero, and we only score one. Are you serious? Oh, my days. Well, Charlie Allen gets a 9.3, four key passes, and the assist. 8.8 .8 for Higginia with the goal. Uh, a 7 for Dior gets himself a clean sheet. That wasn't actually a save he made, he just caught a cross. He was just not even tested. Uh, Terea, 7.7, 3 intercepts, 7.2 for Bischoff, 2 intercepts, 7.7 .7 for Hayes, 2 tackles, 8.1 Eric Taylor, 1 tackle, 4 intercepts, 8.4 for Elfie Wilson with 2 intercepts, 2 key passes, 8.1 for Dauda Bamba, 2 tackles, 3 intercepts, 6.3 for Park, 6.4 for So, 6.4 for Zalewski, Dylan Allen gets a 7.7, .7. only the 4 touches and uh, just sort of linked up in the midfield there to try and create some play, uh, 8.1 for Fitzpatrick, and, well, get voting up in the eye for your player of the match. All right, here we go. Game three of the episode. We're at home, and this time we're hosting Fulham. And I think Fulham touched us up last time as well. So we're going to have to get a big heart effort here from the lads again. Uh, a couple of slight changes to the lineup. Lund back into the starting lineup on the left-hand side. Bunbury back in at central defensive midfield. And Cosmosu back in at right back. Williams comes in in place of Bischoff. And uh, hopefully we can get another win on the board and taking down a team that is higher than us on the table. A good performance there from Aston against Aston Villa. We didn't let them register a shot and Fulham sit in sixth. We're still in tenth. A win here though could see us in with a sniff. So uh, we just can't lie down. We've got to defend like we did in the last one. We just absolutely battered them and got forward, got some shots. And unfortunately we only got one goal out of it. But hopefully we can rectify that today. Now starting line up there. Let's go and get into this game and look for three points. Good block from Hayes. And here's the shot. Oh my days. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, Hayes put in all the hard work to get the block in. It's fallen straight back to the man and his bloody scissor kicked it past Dior and it's 1-0 Fulham. Oh, not the start we bloody wanted here. That is for sure. We're going to have to check the replay here. So uh, we're battering them defensively, doing the job. Hayes gets the block and he just snaps it on the volley. Come on, Dior, wake up, mate. He just jumped up first and then a really late reaction. 1 0. Cuts back through nicely, Charlie Allen, and slips it off here for Dylan Allen. Can he finish? Oh, Dylan! On his non favoured right. Oh, he 
he's a little bit hot and cold at the moment. When he's good, he's good, but that's the kind of shot you need your striker finishing just wide. Oh, Cosmic Shoe, mate! For fuck's sake! He's throwing his weight around, but oh, let's get a real challenge in, buddy. From Taylor, Bunbury to Lund. Bunbury. Charlie Allen, that's a great ball. Wilson plays this one off here for Higinye. Come on, Higinye. Whips it out wide. Who's he got in the box? Over the back. Dylan Allen. Oh, mate, he's just not getting any runs. Wilson. Oh, every time we go forward. Well, there's the whistle. Fulham have pretty much played us off the park so far. It's 1-0. We're going to need a big second half here from the Forest Green. Yeah, it's Charlie Allen. Lord, that is a great ball for Alfie Wilson to run on to. Come on, Elfie. Cuts back. There's the cross for Dylan Allen. Oh, they know. They know what I'm doing. Well said. Dylan Allen lays it off. Charlie Allen. Back to Dylan Allen. Oh, save. Good build up play. Still couldn't beat the keeper. And we've got a corner. And Charlie Allen whips it inside. Cosmo Shoe. Cosmo Shoe. Oh, my days. Cosmo Shoe. Come on, son. Thierry Torre is knocking on the door. That's a forward, Charlie Allen. Charlie Allen! Oh! Oh, what's he done there? Right, Green Bamba and Santo check in for Allen, Bunbury and Lund. See if we can make some changes here. Spark us into life for the final 20 minutes. And Green's going to come into the cam position. Santo on the left wing and Bamba into central defensive midfield. Oh, down the line, buddy! Down the line! Lovely ball from Green. Higinye, gonna use his pace here. Come on, Higinye. Cuts back inside nicely. Let's go, Higinye. Flying away inside. Passes, oh my days! Fuck's sake, Higinye! Find a simple pass, you cockwank! Oh. Come on, Higinye. Oh, referee! You're fucking costing me games as well, cunt! Well, that's a 1-0 loss. Fuck's sake. Well, after such a dominating performance there against Aston Villa, we just got played off the park. 15 shots for Fulham. Oh, my days. Boys, boys, boys. Taylor had an incredible day, that is for sure. He, he missed a couple of tackles, but he did get five tackles and two intercepts. Um, probably would have been more goals for Fulham if he wasn't there. Two tackles for uh, Wilson Bamba. Didn't do much when he came on. Higinye, 6.4, 5.8 for Green, 5.4 for Sardo. Dylan Allen had no service. 7.2 for Lund. 7.6 for Charlie Allen. A couple of tackles got back, helped out. And we're just under the pump the entire game. Bunbury, 6.8. Dior gets a 7.4. He did make nine saves today, so that's a good effort from him. 6.3 for Cosmosu. Looked like a little bit of a liability today. Maybe Thierry Touré will take his spot eventually. 6.6 .6 for Williams. Three intercepts. 7.1 for Hayes. He had a good day as well. Three tackles. Two intercepts. Um, get voting up in the eye for your player of the match. Right, so that's where we finish this one up. Still sitting in 10th position. <laughs> Oh, it's just a shame. I mean, we're only five points away. We just cannot drop games like that one there against Fulham. I mean, they, they, were, they were a better side than us on the day, to be fair. But um, we just we, we played Aston Villa off the park, and then the next game we just didn't even turn up. So uh, we can't be this hit and miss. We need to push on. Uh, 13 games remaining, and in the next episode, we take on Swansea, who are top of the table. So this is going to be a big episode, the next one. We will see you then. Thanks very much for tuning in. Subscribe if you're new around here. Hit like if you did enjoy the video, and we will see you next time. I'm Spyron DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one.